Hello, welcome to this video on using Google Slides for encouraging student collaboration and participation. In this video, we will cover how to use slides as group notes during breakout discussions and how to use Q&A during your slide presentation. We will start with slides that are already created for this demo video. If you need a refresher on how to create slides, please see our other demo video titled Creating, Sharing, and Accessing Collaborative Documents Using Google Suite Apps. Please note that this walkthrough is conducted on Lion Mail. If you have an affiliate account, you may see different language or options for sharing in your Google Suite apps. Please contact the CTL for further support. Let's begin with using slides as group notes. If you would like your students to collaborate and take notes as a group during their breakout sessions on Zoom, you can provide Google Slides to your students as a note-taking space. As the students engage in their group discussion and take notes on the slides, you as the instructor can easily check in real time how each group is doing during their breakout session and provide immediate assistance when needed. In Google Slides, create one slide for each group to take notes. Clicking on the plus sign on the left side of the top menu bar will create new slides. On the first slide, you can give instructions on how to use the slides for group notes. Then label the other slides with group numbers. For example, the first slide can be labeled as group one. The second slide can be labeled as group two group three for the third slide, and group four for the fourth slide. Make sure to change the settings so that students have editor access and not viewer access. You can check the access setting by clicking the orange share button on the top right corner of your screen and making any necessary adjustments. For more details about sharing and accessing Google Slides, please see our other video titled creating, sharing, and accessing collaborative documents using Google Suite apps. If you use Google Slides to give lectures or deliver other course content during class, one useful collaboration and participation tool may be the Q&A feature. This feature allows you to accept student questions or comments and directly show them on the current slide you are showing while you are in the presentation mode in Google Slides. This is one way to solicit student questions or comments and encourage student participation while you go through your presentation slides. You can enable the Q&A feature while in presentation mode in Google Slides. To enter the presentation mode, click Present at the top right corner of your screen. In the presenter view, you have a menu bar that pops up at the bottom of your screen. Click Q&A in that menu bar then Audience Tools, and then Start New. This generates a link that shows up on the current slide that you are showing. Students can type this link into their own internet browser and submit their questions or comments. As a reminder, make sure to change the access setting so that all students in your class have the right access to the link that you are sharing. Detailed instructions can be found in our other demo video titled creating, sharing, and accessing collaborative documents using Google Suite apps. Here is what commenting looks like from the student's perspective. Once students go into the link that you provide, they can submit responses either anonymously or with their names showing. They can also see all the responses submitted by their peers. And they can upvote or downvote the responses if you want to take a poll. Back in the presenter view, as you see student responses coming in, you can either present or hide those responses directly on the currently showing slide one at a time. For example, if I were to show this first response that I have received, I would click present, and this is what the students would see on their computers. As long as you keep the Q&A feature on in the control panel, the link will continue to show on your slides as you move through them. When you click off in the control panel, the link will disappear from the slides and students will not be able to submit responses. 
Again, all this happens while you are in the presentation mode of the slides. In this video, we have looked at two different strategies for using Google Slides to encourage student collaboration and participation in class. For further support or to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation, please contact us at columbiactl at columbia.edu.